Local Memphis Live continues with your host, Amy Sparopoulos. The best time for kids to get a sense of what nature's all about is during the summer. And for an entire week, little explorers can learn about wild animals, insects, participate in fun, and get educated all at the same time, thanks to the fabulous folks at Lichterman Nature Center. Welcome this morning, Dr. Dawn Manning, to tell us about Nature's Explorer Summer Camp. Good morning. Good morning, And Dawn Amy. has a guest with her. I Who do. Is this? So, in all of our programs, we use live animals or animal ambassadors to kind yes. of drive home the message. So, he's a reptile. He's actually a large lizard. He, would, he belongs in Australia. Oh. We use him for education because we can really show his adaptations. He's got holes right here for ears. Like all he lizards, sure he'll stick out a blue tongue. That's to scare away predators. Um, he would live in the uh, desert there in Australia and blend right in. Skinks wow. also move closer to the ground. So they have these little bitty feet and sometimes they get a bad rap and people do think they're snakes. But so this is one of my animal ambassadors, oh. Blue Tongue Skink. Okay. He's um, maybe my easiest traveler and looks like he is loving the camera. He's very calm actually. Yes. I love it because when kids can feel, touch and see things like this, I think that it makes learning so much more fun for them. Me too, and we try to keep everything hands-on um, yeah. at the Nature Center. I've really infused a lot of STEM activities in. I know, tell us. Which, yeah. are, very, yes. which are very fun, um, just to figure out things, to touch things, right. to experiment things. So at camp, we do things like um, we test the water in our lake uh, for pH, cool. turbidity, okay. all different things like that with our testing kits. We go out with nets oh, and yes. we look for bugs, insects, spiders. We ID those. That's we cool. do owl pellets and actually meet an owl during camp. We Very have our cool. new t-shirts this year, Walk on the Wild Side. Oh, I love and that. water bottles for all our kiddos. Also, you spend a day bird watching with an ornithologist Ooh. with your field guides and we provide the binoculars and lots of other fun things like that going on. That is Arts, crafts, cool. science, uh, getting in the lake, netting for insects, just about anything they want to do. Isn't that fun? Because it really, and, and I love the STEM part because everyone is talking about the STEM because it's so open wide right now for our youngsters and the, the encouragement is really up to get our kids involved in the STEM program. So that's awesome. Absolutely, and I personally think STEM is very important. We've been doing it for yes. a long time. Right. Now we just put a name on it. So yeah. really, yeah, yeah. So really, yeah. it's just getting kids down to learning the scientific method, and if that's just putting out some some tools and explaining right. a few things and letting them get through the methodology themselves, then talking about what worked, what didn't work. Yes. That's how you make a scientist. So I love and that. get them. In, yeah. yeah. That's how yeah. you make a scientist. It's a lot of trial and error. And you can start at in, in pre-K with this. That's what I was going to say. And yes, you guys really, that, I mean, there there is, the sky's the limit. The and they start the limit. early. They start early. I also have a pre, Polywogs pre-K camp, May 21st and oh. 25th. I love I'm actually working on our outdoor play area now. We're going to have a playscape for the kids. That's we're awesome. We're going to get dirty. We're going to play in the dirt. We're going to dig in sand. We're going to get in water. We're going to pick up sticks. We're going to make so a fake campfire. Man. We're going to get in a tent for snacks. This is awesome. Everything like that. So we're going to read a book under a tree. It's going to be amazing. What time? What time do they so need to start? So my pre-K camp yep. um, goes from 9 to 12. That's or awesome. Or 1 to 4. May 21st through 25th. Also, I have Nature Explorers Summer Camp for my 6 to 12 year olds, which Yay. is two weeks, June 4th through 8th and June 11th through 15th. So you can pick which one works for you. Spots are still available. That's Just what I was going to Just go online, give yep. us a call at 636-2221 and we can take care of you. And the Lichterman's such a great place to bird watch. Um, Y'all do an annual event there and now it's just escaped me, but I know a lot of folks come from all over the country to go there and watch birds and it's really yes. a very relaxing It nice is, place. we have an ornithologist on yes, staff. Thank you. She's amazing. Um, she, we have a lot of purple martins that come. I've seen yes. goldfinches lately, bluebirds. My first hummingbird the other it. day. Mary Schmidt's amazing. She keeps, keeps up with all the birds that we see there at Lichterman, keeps a list. Very you can come cool. borrow binoculars from us yep. and take your bird hike. I love it, just like these. Just okay, like now, this. Is our, what's our friend's name again? So we don't name the animals at oh, Lichterman. Okay, yeah, because that's they're good. not our pets. Yeah, I will say I, gotcha. I have a snake at home, and his name's Elton John. So I do name oh, my pet. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe he can come with me sometime. Okay, say but anyway, you know. we don't name him. I just call him Blue Tongue Skink, Blue Tongue. BTS for short. 
but I let the kids name them when we go to places. He's been named everything from Fluffy to Ted <laughs> to Billy. So, you know, he's he's fine. We can, I you know, it. just I with whatever. I Ted was my favorite. Yeah, yeah I, I like, he looks like a Ted. He looks like a Ted. And <laughs> He travels well, so. Indeed. Yeah, he may oh, want to hang out the rest of the day. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hey, that might be good. I love it. And this is some video of some past summer camps yeah, that you so, guys have had. Um, here so cool. we are doing all kinds of things. There's Miss Beth. I have wonderful oh. teachers. They all have bachelor's degrees or higher in That's natural awesome. science fields. Here they are making what we call Earth Babies. So what they do is it's kind of like a natural chia pet. They actually put oh. grass seed in the bottom of a stocking. I love they that. They tie it up. It teaches them how water comes up through the roots. Very cool. And then it sprouts hair so they can give it a birth certificate, give it a name. They can cut the hair. That's they can fabulous. keep it. They last however long you want to water them. You're so awesome. Dr. John oh, Manning, thank, thank you, you so Amy, much. It's always a pleasure. Check them out. Lichterman uh, Nature Center. It is right under the umbrella, of course, of the Pink Palace Family of Museums. It's just an awesome place. Go ahead and get your kids enrolled now in summer camp. It's going to be fabulous as we explore nature. Yes, thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Coming up, we are working together to beat digital addiction. How a local church is coming together to help mom Moms, dads, and youngsters beat the digital addiction. We'll have some tips for you in two minutes and 51 seconds.